Hi everybody. Today's lecture is on the idea of power, in particular something called mechanical power. Um, later in the year we'll look at something called electrical power. Um, now you hear the word power used all the time, for example solar power, and nuclear power, electrical power, things like that. Um, if you remember though, those were also forms of energy. So power must have something to do with the idea of energy. Um, and of course we already know that energy is defined as the ability to do work. So power must also have something to do with the idea of work. Well, the way we define power is the rate at which work is done. Um, now again, that word rate, you have to be careful. Um, a lot of times you hear rate, you think, well, speed. But no, whenever we hear rate in physics, it has to do with time. Okay, some relationship per time. And that's actually how we determine mechanical power. Power is the amount of work divided by the time it takes to do that work. So power is work over time. And again, we're looking at the idea of something called mechanical power. The units of power are the watt, capital W. So let's look at an example. Let's say we're going to climb a set of stairs. And our mass is around 60 kilograms. And we're going to climb this 20 meter high set of stairs to the top. And it's going to take us about 10 seconds to do so. And the question is, well, how much power does that how much power do we use in order to do that? How much power do our legs deliver in order to do that? Well, if power is calculated by the amount of work over time. So what was the work we did? Well, notice that at the end, standing at the top of the stairs, we have to have gravitational potential energy. Okay? Because down here at the bottom, we started with nothing. Okay? Now, yeah, we moved along the way and we had some kinetic at the end. But in the end, the potential energy we had has to be equivalent to the work we've done because we have given ourselves potential energy. Well, it took work to give ourselves that potential energy, so that work and that change in potential energy must be the same. So if that's true, I can replace work with gravitational potential energy. I can exchange one for the other because that's really what I did. Now we know the formula for potential energy, mgh. And so the power would be the mass, 60 kilograms, gravity's 10, the height of 20 meters. Now notice it has nothing to do with the length of the stairs. It just has to do with the overall height that we climb to, all over 10 seconds. So that gives me 12,000 over 10, or my legs use 1,200 watts of power in order to carry me up those stairs. Now, how could I have gotten a greater power output? Well, there's two things I could do. One is do it faster. Okay, so if I did it in five seconds, I would have to expel 2,400 watts of power. Um, the other would be, of course, to carry something heavier up with me. That would require more power out of my legs. Okay, so either doing more work or doing it in a faster time will yield more power. Let's look at another example. Our pitcher on the pitching mound. It's going to take our 0.2 kilogram baseball and from rest is in half a second going to throw and release it at 20 meters per second. Now the question is how much power was in the pitcher's arm in order to do this. Okay. Now, again, looking at the idea that power is work over time. We could go through the whole thing of figuring out the work, which would be force times distance, and we would need the force, so we'd have to do F equals MA, but to get that we would need the acceleration, which means we'd have to do motion. So we could do linear motion, force, work, and then find power. But there's a far easier way. See, at the end of the arm's motion, 
we have given the ball kinetic energy. Now, it took work to get that kinetic energy, so we can exchange that work and that energy. They have to be the same thing. So in this case, I'm going to replace my work with the amount of kinetic energy I gave the ball. Kinetic energy, 1 half mv squared. So now, I have 1 half the mass, 0.2, the final velocity that we reach 20 meters per second, over the 0.5 seconds it took to throw it. So that gives me 40 over 0.5, or 80 watts of power. Okay, so it clearly it takes a lot more power to run upstairs than it does to throw a baseball. And that's basically it. That's basically how you calculate power and the idea of what power actually is. Power is the rate of work or work over time. And again, we can always exchange work for energy. If the work we do gives something energy or the energy allows us to do the work, we can exchange one for the other. Okay, that's it. See you next time.